Hello, my fam. It is Perez time for our weekly check-in. I have not been well. I had a lot to talk about with my therapist. And as is often the case in life, when you're going through something, you don't have a full picture or understanding of exactly what you're going through. Or you might think you do, but then with hindsight, you realize, oh, it was so much more than that. I still have the black cloud hanging over me of the nanny situation. I have not hired a new nanny yet. And our old one, who is still with us, thankfully, is leaving soon. So that's a lot of stress and anxiety and pressure and like I said last week, that black cloud hanging over my head. And I like to be honest and give you an update. I did not realize how severely getting the second dose of Michelle Pfizer <laughs> affected me. I just thought I was tired. I knew, I knew that it made me lethargic. But now that I've got some distance from last week, it really hit me hard. So if you haven't gotten your second dose yet, try to make sure that you really don't have much of anything to do afterwards. If you can work from home or take days off of work, uh, if you can get it on a Friday and then do nothing Saturday and Sunday, that would probably be best. I did not do that. I had mine in the middle of the week and then I still had my week and then just, I was thrown so off track. My sleeping was off. I wasn't working out. I started to eat poorly. I started to drink again. It was like, <laughs> I can go from being so good to just imploding like that. And I didn't realize it until just now that I'm coming up for air that it was because of that second dose. Like at first I thought, oh, I'm fine. You know, just a little sore here and maybe a little lethargic, but then it just snowballed. And it was more than just a little lethargic. It was a lot lethargic. And I think it makes sense because I would imagine that it works similar to the flu shot where they're giving you something similar and they're making you, I don't know. Having said that, I am relieved and so grateful that I got it and worried less about the future and feeling better about things because now I'm looking forward again to my upcoming Vegas trip. And some things are open, which I'm very excited about. The Cirque shows are not coming back, I think, until end of June, early July. But there are some other things that I can do. And it'll be great just to spend time with my two main Vegas besties, especially the one whose sister died recently, and just be able to give him a hug because he's had both of his doses as well. And as some of you saw, I'm still dealing with my three-year-old, my three-nager, continuing to act up at school, being sent home from her preschool. And I've been having ongoing conversations with the head of the school. What I think has happened is she's realized, Maite, that if she acts up, she can come home. And I don't know if she just doesn't like her teachers this year, because she went to that same school last year, or if she just doesn't like the school, or if she just doesn't like school in general, or if she's understimulated or what. But now we've just developed this bad pattern and habit of her understanding that she can come home anytime she wants if she just behaves badly enough. Because then when she gets home, she's an angel. She'll even sit next to me while I work and I say, okay, because I'm curious. Like, they tell me that at school, her attention spans only like five minutes on a project. So I was like, okay, play with these dolls or draw. And she'll sit next to me for like 30 minutes. 
Easy breezy, beautiful, peasy, no problem. Like not even complaining, like totally chill. While I work, she's there and all is good. And she's a different person at home. And it is what it is. It's gonna be, it's, I think, I, I, I don't even know what I think. I, I'm trying to just, I've heard from so many of you. I'm trying to do everything. I, listen, I've done everything. Blackmail, rewards, you know, consequences, celebration, all of it. But I've heard from a lot of you that hopefully, for many of you, this is just a phase and it's normal and we'll grow out of it. And I know that she's smart and I know that she's a good girl. <sighs> just like my mother, I know that she's a good girl and I'm glad we had a lovely Mother's Day weekend because last week after she hurt me in that video that I talked about, she did something worse, not worse, but like just as bad or like rubbing my nose in it. So I don't want to give away exactly what happened because that's for a video down the line in the future. I'll share you know, that, that early May drama. I filmed it all for a vlog. But let's just say that I wanted to do something special for my mother, surprised her, and it didn't quite go according to plan. It didn't work out. And I was really hurt and disappointed, especially because I felt like she wasn't listening to me. But it's fine because it was supposed to be about her and making her happy. Then, last week, after all of that happened, she sent me a photo of her and my sister from a few years ago doing that thing. Almost like rubbing my nose in it. Right? Like that's, or at least that's how I interpret it. It, like, I didn't even, I didn't want to make a scene. Like I was not feeling well, so I let it go, but I don't know. I feel like if she does, it, it's fine. I don't even know. Maybe it's not fine because it's like two incidents. Maybe it's like three strikes, you're out. Like if she does something a third time, I'll tell her, but I didn't really tell her after our big blow up, not blow up, but I didn't really tell her after the first thing how hurt I was. And then I didn't tell her after this texting me a photo either. I hope my kids do, like, I don't know, like, I don't want to unintentionally or intentionally, well, if I'm doing it intentionally, then I want to, but I don't want to unintentionally hurt my children or make them feel less than or unappreciated or whatever it might be. We talked about men with my therapist and um, I will be meeting up with that 22 year old, but as I'm getting closer to possibly, not possibly, as I'm getting closer to, you know, two weeks after the second dose, you're fully covered I'm like getting nervous about hanging out and stuff, but I do want a partner that would be nice. I deserve that. I haven't even had those thoughts in a while, but they're coming back into my mind. Just to have somebody to be a sounding board, to hug, to put a smile on my face in a different way than my kids for all of the other stuff for everything like on what day was it last week on Wednesday of last week I was on a two 
hour Zoom with my kid's school. A two-hour Zoom with my kid's school. A two-hour Zoom with my kid's school. There's no need for a two-hour Zoom. There are a lot of parents that are upset and frustrated with how things have been handled at the school. And it's, it's been difficult. And I will be, I need an end point. I need to know when it's gonna be over. Because I like to think that I am a rational, semi smart person but the school is telling us that in the fall they're still gonna have to do all these mitigation measures and a shortened schedule and blah, 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 blah right they just announced I believe that Michelle Pfizer applied I, I forget what the exact thing that, that Pfizer did but basically starting soon or Kids 12 and over, it, it's going down from 16 to 12 now, I think we'll be able to start getting vaccinated. I would hope and I imagine, fingers crossed, that if we keep going in the same direction, that by August, all children will be able to get their vaccines and if that's the case, then why are we gonna have to be operating as if we're still, like, if everybody could be vaccinated by August, that's when mask wearing should be over, in my opinion, right? If everybody has had the option to in America, I'm only talking about here. Like, we can't go on with masks forever. We can't go on um, living like this forever. Like, I'm just, I need to know when is the end. I think it has to be when all the kids can get their vaccines. And hopefully that can be by end of August, I hope. But this week, is better than last. I am forcing myself to get sleep. I did not do that last week. And I also realized that if for whatever reason, because sometimes days get away from you, if I cannot get my eight hours of sleep, I have to force myself to get at least seven, okay? Seven is good, seven is great but getting less than seven is really bad. And it's just then too easy to not work out, to have an excuse to like not, oh, let me get some extra sleep and not work out. And then I don't work out and then I feel really bad about myself. Thankfully, I'm feeling good about myself and I'm going on my walks. I wasn't even going on my walks last week. It feels so good to be sitting out here right now, sharing with you all and being in the sunshine. I was a trap, like a prisoner in my house last week, with the exception of going and getting my thingy and going to the supermarket. And now I have still some like leftover food that is probably bad because I bought a lot of salads last week that I didn't finish because I ended up cheating a lot, but that's okay. Listen, nobody's perfect. It's all this. I'm doing my best. I'm being compassionate with myself. And hopefully you can have compassion with yourself and work. Let's, let's all work on self care this week. Okay. And next week let's can self care requires concentrated effort. Self care is not easy, but you're worth it and I'm worth it. And I thank you so much for watching this video for supporting my family. Lacey Noel, she watched the video that I posted giving my mother her Mother's Day present and she said, 
I've been watching you guys so long that I knew what you were gonna get your mother for Mother's Day before you gave it to her. It really touched my heart. Thank you again for seeing me, for understanding me, for accepting me, for growing with me, and being a member of my fram, and for being an ender. Thank you for watching until the end. This is the end. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. Thank you to anybody who may have super chatted me. Listen to my podcast, the Perez Hilton Podcast with Chris Booker on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or directly at perezpodcast.com. Got a personalized video greeting from me on the Cameo website at cameo.com slash Perez Hilton. And go outside and listen to the birds and hear water flowing and... I am so grateful to be alive and in good health for the most part. I am in good health. And I'm so grateful for my kids and my mom. And I am so grateful for you. 17 years later, you're watching this. God bless. Mwah. Bye. I'll see you guys tomorrow.